questions? Um, well, we really focused on this past week, um, learning from the mistakes that we made uh, during the game, just fast starts. And um, I feel like we're now settled in with the offense, with everything that's going on, with the nuances of it, with every uh, – um, we went through real tests together as a team and in the system. So now we know, okay, what we like, what we don't like. And now I feel like this is the second half of the season we're real comfortable in. Hey, Shiro Tyler King with the Denver Gazette. After the game, we were talking about the final touchdown drive you were, and the kind of the checks you were making yeah. on that drive. You were mentioning that I think you said like all 11 guys wouldn't, wouldn't have been in the right spot or weren't yeah. synced up. Has that been an emphasis this week as you guys are you know, making changes and making corrections about trying to make sure everybody is all set for a drive like that in like a two-minute drill type situation? Yeah, of course. That, that, that's the best thing possible we can do as an offense. I just didn't want to waste uh, plays on that. And that's just honestly like something I just take to the chin and just a learning learning experience from that is just, you know, be more manageable with the time and understand, okay, um, this is a situation. How are we going to go about it? And how are we going to fix it? So that's the main thing. And anything that we're very unclear with in practice or anything, we're going to make sure we get those extra reps in to be able to be uh, very fluent with it in the game. Hi, Shiloh. Ryland Scholes from Ralph Shador. Airport. Oh, oh, my gosh. Shador, I'm sorry. It's cool, though. We brothers. It's so early in the good. morning. Um, <laughs> well, I'm not sure if you've seen, but you and Shiloh, who's your brother, uh, have been uh, clips of your guys' reality show from yeah. OWN have been going viral on mm -hmm. social media. I'm not, have you guys seen that? Yeah, I've seen a couple of them. Yeah, I've seen a couple of them. Like, uh, I only really noticed it because some people, like, you know, talk to me about it or just ask me. We just referenced it back in the day. And, like, I just ain't know what they was talking about at first because, you know, I'm not on social media during the week, honestly. I, I stay locked in on football and uh, just managing my time the right way. So I don't really know how much is out there, you know, but I, I just I just see a couple of clips on there, and it was funny. Hey, Shador, Jimmy Sierra Fox, 247 Sports. How would you like to see Miller worked into this offense a little more? Coach is talking about working him in more after the game. Uh, Him – him just being consistent each and every day, day in and out. Uh, that's the main thing, and that's just how I feel like here you're going to be able to get playing time. It's just the most consistent player is going to play. Hey, Shadur, uh, Pat Graham Associated Press, um, kind of off the field. Um, DJ Khaled did the, the watch thing. I guess is, what was the origins of the watch? And, and also, do you ever get starstruck on the sideline when you see all the celebrities? Is anybody like, you're like, wow, I can't believe he's here or she's here or something like that? <clears throat> no, nah, I don't because I know everybody's regular humans. So it's not, I don't really be phased by names or anything like that. It's just they come here to watch the game, like entertainment purposes. So we got to stay out there handle business because all that stuff could go away quick. So like really my mindset with everything is take everything with a grain of salt to it. Like it's cool, but uh, things don't work out the right way then they'll remember you for a bad thing. So you don't never really want to have those guys be the focus of that. I feel like that's more for them. You know, being able to witness history, um, them being able to see what's never been done before uh, in person, live in purpose, in person, and them going to be able to tell their kids one day, hey, I remember when this happened. Oh, when DJ Kyle did the watch, like, I just, I don't know, it just happened. I ain't know. It was really going to blow up or anything like that because it's just, you know, it was just in the moment. Nothing was, like, premeditated, I'll say, to where I know, okay, I'm going to go do this. Like, no, nah, it just happened. And they just took it around with it. Hi, Shador. Adam Muster Tiger, 24-7 Sports. After the game on Saturday, you mentioned that your ankle was bothering you a little bit. Is that kind of like a, a reoccurring deal that you've been having to, to deal with? Oh, no, not reoccurring. Everything fine now. Like, it was just, you know, you know, after the game, it's just soreness a little bit, so. Sat in the ice bath for almost an hour after the game, and I'm fine now, so I feel great. Has Tom Brady or any other quarterbacks ever given you advice just in the recovery aspect of things? No, not really. It's just um, even with Coach Pat, him just telling you, like, because, uh, you know, he's he been around a lot of quarterbacks, and he had a lot of quarterbacks in the league. 
It was like the best quarterback is to stay healthy. So that's the main thing, uh, just investing your time in things that matter, which is your health, and just doing the daily things to make sure uh, you be proactive and not reactive. Ariel Orsudo, 9 News. Um, uh, what's your mentality about road games? Do you feel like you're more focused? I'm, I'm busy, man. <laughs> nah, come on, man. Hey. Nah. nah, nah, man. Uh, first, I get interrupted, then he gets interrupted, but, you know, you're – you're the main guy, so come on in. Uh, what's what's your mentality with road games? Are you more focused on the road? Do you feel like this is kind of one? Do you also feel like this could be like a get right game for you guys? Well, no, I feel like every game we, we we approach it with the mindset of. Well, I don't really understand what a get right game is, but uh, we approach each game with the same mindset of just go out there dominate and just do the take everything play by play. So on the road, it's not really no difference to being at home. Uh, the game is the game. At the end of the day, every field is 100, uh, 100 yards that we play in, and um, we just got to go out there and execute. Shoot over Matt Smith, 104.3 The Fan. How much – look, you've played at a high level for a long time, right? Mm -hmm. But it feels like this is a, a new experience, right? You played a couple of top ten teams the last few weeks. Mm -hmm. How much do you feel you're growing as a quarterback? Is that something that you actively mm -hmm. want to do is just learn more and more and yeah. more? Yeah. No, I find it uh, – I feel like it's very fun. I'm having fun playing this game, uh, knowing each week we're we're faced with different battles, and really it's just getting comfortable within the offense. Cause you know this this the f fifth game, or we going to the sixth game. I'm not sure. Um, of really knowing the ins and outs of the offense. So week by week, I feel like we're improving as a whole, and I feel like this is the second half of the season, and now we're going to be comfortable, and you'll be able to see what this offense is for you. Have there been a few moments where you're like, oh, okay can't do that here, or, oh, okay, I need to be a little bit better this this way or that way. Anything that yeah. stuck out the first five weeks or so? Yeah, of course, when you go back and watch film, it's okay. It, it's a couple reads you missed or a couple throws you missed, or you got to quicken up and, you know, just understand the pieces you got around you and use them to the best ability. So that's the main thing that you go back and, and do. But I don't think no quarterback in the world just had just a perfect game saying, I can't improve anywhere. Hey, Shador, Carlos Bryant, DSM. There was a moment in the game in the fourth quarter where you walked down to the end of the sideline and you were talking with T.O. for about a minute before you went down and scored. Can you talk about what conversations you have with him during the game? And I, I can't, what went in? Honestly, I can't, I can't even recall that specific moment. Yeah, I can't, I can't recall that specific moment because it's, like, it's a lot of like mental battles you're going through with yourself. Uh, during a game, in each game, and you're analyzing different things that happen uh, or that may happen or, you know, just playing the game within your head. So I can't really remember, recall that. Hey, Shador. Brian Howard from the Bowl of Daily Camera. Um, sort of off of Matt's question here, but um, I know you guys didn't want to lose these last two games, but how valuable were those experiences for this team to grow, to see two of the best teams in this conference, two of the best in the country the last two weeks? Well, I feel like every game is valuable. I don't think it's it's – uh, this team or that team or whether it's in the top 10 and ranked, unranked, I feel like every game is valuable and having another experience and going to um, battle with guys, with your teammates, it, it's extremely, you need that to happen. Yeah, so it was cool. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed uh, all the weeks this far and we're just ready to, you know, lock in and uh, be very explosive in the team we're supposed to be.